Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, body of Christ. It's been quite a while since I have been given a message from the Almighty God. And today is April 21st, 2023. First of all, I want to tell you all that Pastor Charles Stanley went to be with the Lord today. Brothers and sisters, pray for his family. Even though they're believers, it's hard to lose someone that you love. I know when I lost my husband eight years ago. Anyway, the Word of God came to me in the book of Joel. This is what it says. Disaster strikes the southern kingdom of Judah. Without warning, a anonymous black cloud descends upon the land. The dreaded locust. In a matter of hours, every living green thing has been stripped bare. Joel, God's spokesman, during the reign of Joaz, 835-796 B.C., seizes this occasion to proclaim God's message. The Lord wants us to go proclaim his message, the full gospel. Now, now is the day and the hour that we must go forth and speak his word. Rather, in Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or outside where you live, speak, speak, speak the word of God for time is nigh although the locust plague has been a terrible judgment for sin God's future judgments during the day of the Lord will make that plague pale by comparison he's talking about the plague or the judgments that are coming into this world in these last days God's future judgments during the day of the Lord will make that plague pale by comparison. In that day, God will destroy his enemies by being unparalleled blessing to those who faithfully obey him. Judgment is going to come into this world for the disobedient, the evil and wicked, ungodly and righteous people. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ. That's why we are to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth right now. These days, it's very, very important that we go and shine our light. For God has given us the spirit, his spirit inside of us to shine the light, to speak the truth, to be what he has called us to be, the salt of the earth. For the judgment that God is going to bring forth is the judgment of his wrath, his indignation, that it speaks in his word about his indignation. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ, we are to be fearless on the things that are going to take place because we have him inside of us, his spirit is dwelling inside of us who are believers in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ, be wise, the Lord says, as a serpent and gentle as a dove. Be strong in your running of this race and do not give up, do not give up, do not give up, for the race is about finished. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, let us stand strong in these final hours. Be blessed. Shalom. And we are out of here.
see you in the air very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer.